today we will cover an asset that we haven't covered in a long time, Store G. Going to look at the daily and weekly charts. We have a really bad market, red market right now because of the big correction from Bitcoin and the main tokens. But somehow Store G has been rebounding 22% today. But unfortunately, we are at square one since July of last year. So we have gone nowhere for Store G in a year. The support level at 30 cents hold it just recently we have bounced back we are at 37 almost 38 cents right now but the ma50 is on the downside the ma200 also is on the downside so the momentum is down bearish negative for storgy so it has to it has to move away from 30 cents come back here to this resistance level and break above it and then break the ME200 to be able to change its momentum. I would not get in this asset before the, that change of momentum and the ME50 will turn positive. We will probably eventually have a golden cross on the ME200 and then after a few weeks and months maybe the ME200 will turn upwards again. This can happen at any time because Bitcoin will pull everything upwards and we don't know how powerful these push upwards will be for Bitcoin. Right now it's a red day. Um, it has been a couple of days of red over the weekend for Bitcoin. So the sell-off is here. Some altcoins have broken their resistance levels. Some are at the resistance level. You have to look at those who have performed quite well and also have corrected the less in this down market. So you need to be really cautious about where you put your money right now. Some are at the bargain stage, but some also will go lower, stay lower and never bounce back. And that's the tricky situation for the most of the altcoins that we have in the market. We have uh, thousands of coins. It's not easy to select the ones. That's why we cover here in the channel quite a variety of altcoins, the ones that I found more interesting, the ones that can be interesting to get into, but you always need to keep informed about the project, about what's going on, what phases they are at. Is it an early, mid-size or uh, an older project? That also triggers some conviction towards this asset. Some have little dilution, some have a lot of dilution, some respond very well at the same time of Bitcoin and correct the same way as Bitcoin. Others correct more than Bitcoin and pump higher than Bitcoin. There's all kinds of combinations that you need to figure out for the assets that you follow. Store G is one of the assets that triggers a lot of attention in my shorts videos. That's why I'm covering it right now. It's a lot of fans store G out there. It's been a while that I've done the, an update. That's why I'm covering it right now. So we are at the base. It could be a nice base to get into and build a position for the remainder of the bull run. But again, all coins are extremely risky. I don't have all the details of the background for store G. I'm just basing it on the charts. So that's what I can tell you about store G at this stage. On the weekly chart, we have way more information. We know what happened in the previous bull run. It went as almost as high as $4 and then $3.50 on the second peak. And now we're below $1. So we have a situation here where we can, if we break 50 cents, that would be quite interesting because the ME50 on the weekly chart is kind of flat. It's going a little bit up, but it's kind of flat. The ME200 is flat right now on the weekly chart. But if we bounce back nicely here for Storgy, could be a nice entry from 50 cents up to maybe $2 to $50, $3 in this end of the year, maybe even higher if the bull run continues and the response for Storgy is important. We will see. But sometimes when you have red days in the market, you can actually have some coins that are responding well, that have momentum or buying momentum, you need to take it into consideration and see if it's 
a good play for your portfolio. It's not financial advice. You need to do your research for every single asset that I cover here in the channel. Hope you enjoy the content. Continue watching, continue subscribing, and getting informed. I know it's not fun on these really bad red days. It's kind of scary out there. I haven't sold my coins. I'm still convicted in crypto. It's just a temporary thing, in my opinion. Not financial advice again. Let's see what happens.